Hi guys, Ali Pierce Scuba. Now, this is a semi-serious topic. It's serious in the beginning and more fun later. And the reason I'm starting off this way is that, first of all, this topic is a response to a lot of questions. A lot of people have been calling up and saying, Alec, are those hand pumps for filling scuba tanks, are they safe to use? I don't really think that's the question that people should be asking. And I'm the wrong person to ask because I have a very fatalistic view of, of a variety of things, which is funny having been a scuba diver for 65 years. But uh, <clears throat> uh, people are saying, those scuba systems that you can buy online for $100 and they have a hand button, they're dangerous. They shouldn't be selling those. I don't know. You know, you can buy knives and guns and crossbows and lawnmowers and all kinds of things, like scissors. The fact is that these things exist. There are scuba systems that you can buy for $100. They look like this. Here's one. This is actually one of the bigger, better names of uh, a better product. It's a better name. Smako. Smako. I have a nice little aluminum cylinder with a built-in first stage and a second stage, and you fill this up, and you put it on your back, and you go scuba diving. Now, when they talk about it, they say, only go to 10 feet. 10 feet is the most dangerous area. If you're going to have an embolism, a pressure-related injury, it's going to occur in 10 feet. This is a, a pony bottle type of cylinder, a little taller and thinner. This is about a 6 cubic foot. There's a 13 cubic foot. This particular one is a 19, and they go all the way up to get up to your standard 80. Now, both of these systems tout the fact that you can, they can be filled with a hand pump. And you can buy the hand pump separately, or, as with this particular package, if I can get it out of here, the hand pump comes with it. Yeah, there it is. It sure looks like a bicycle pump to me. How you doing there, Kevin? You keeping up to me there? It's a bicycle pump. Sure looks like it to me, but I do, you know. This screw, that should be in there tightly. I'll do that in a minute. And that this goes up. No, that's a good one. That goes up and that goes down. And when you go down like that, air comes out and this connects to your scuba tank or to one of these little cylinders. And over a period of time, with enough effort, enough time, you can actually fill these tanks. Now these are 3,000 PSI. And, and as it says on there, <clears throat> on their websites, uh, you, you, you would fill the, the tank in 10 to 20 minutes. 10 to 20 minutes. So, What's the question here? Well, the question is, can I fill my scuba tank with one of these hand pumps? And the answer is yes, of course you can. These ones fill in 10 to 20 minutes. If you have a standard scuba tank and you're trying to save a bit of money, these are not cheap, but if you're trying to save a bit of money, you don't want to support your local dive store, so you want to fill your own scuba tanks. Or maybe, I don't want to sound com completely cynical, maybe you're at a dive site. And there is no compressor nearby. There's no dive star really nearby. You want to you go for a couple of dives. So you dive with your tank, and then you can fill it in between dives. Okay, technically, yes, that's all possible. You know, all you have to do is pump. There's a, there's a special fitting here. You see, it's like a yoke that goes under your scuba tank, and it's got a bleed valve, and this fits into there. And yes, so, yes. Answer your question, yes, you can fill your scuba tank with a hand pump. No, that's not the whole story. First of all, there's a couple of things you need to consider. And they have addressed some of them. These, uh, these systems come with a filter. Uh, and and, and uh, they're pretty good filters. They filter out all of the particles. Okay, so if there's any oil, excess water, or dirt particles, and so on in the air that's being sucked in here. Because the air that you, you, from this is coming from wherever you're standing. Uh, these filters will take that out. They will not take out noxious gases. Okay, these are not uh, these are not uh, um, sophisticated filters as you would have on a scuba compressor. If you look at your local dive store, <clears throat> and local dive stores usually have a monitor actually on their big compressors that actually monitor the purity of the air coming out of them, so they know there's no carbon monoxide. That it, it's 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 a good clean air, uh, and of course particles are taken out too. Uh, these take out particles only. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, at the moment, none of these devices have a air purity or a gas sensing removing system. But the air is clean. So, yeah, yeah, they take moisture out, yeah, a little bit, yeah. So, so yes, again, we're back to the answer. Yes, you can fill your scuba cylinder with one of these. So, why wouldn't every scuba diver have one? Well, I don't know. 
Maybe they should. Maybe they should have one. Maybe a scuba diver should have one. I think it's just great. And have a dive and pump your tank back up and have another dive and pump your tank back up. I can see the day coming, I suppose, when, when a bunch of divers get out of the water, open water dive class, 30 divers get out of the water and um, uh, they have a bit of lunch and then they all, start pump, they all start pumping up their tanks. I don't think that's going to happen. Why is it not going to happen? Well, let me explain. They have stated in the literature that comes with the user's manual of the hand pump that it would take 10 to 20 minutes to fill one of these tanks. This particular one, we're talking about this particular cylinder. I went to a, a, a website, very easy to find, Catalina. Catalina cylinders. Catalina makes this cylinder. Catalina makes that cylinder. So it's, it's, it, you know, it's very easy to go there and, and you can do this yourself. So here we go. You ready? Standard 3000 PSI scuba tank sizes. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's go down here. Six cubic feet. That's this one right here, six cubic feet. So this particular little cylinder here is a six, a six cubic foot, which according to this is 0.9 liters. 0.9, let's call it one. One liter. This holds one liter. Six cubic feet, one liter. And according to the literature, it would take 20 minutes to fill that. Okay. Now tell me, I'm going to tell you right now, 20 minutes is a lot of pumping. I have used this for about six minutes, my arms are okay. This you're already seeing. This this is this two, three. Okay, <laughs> uh, six minutes. I was had enough. Uh, twenty minutes. Yeah, I don't think you're going to do twenty minutes nonstop. You'd have to take a couple of breaks in there. So twenty minutes to fill that. All right. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Eighty cubic feet is 11 liters, okay? 11 times as much. So what did I say there, Kevin? 20 minutes, 11 times 20 would be 220, which would be, uh, is it four hours? Okay, so, so maybe my scenario of an open water class climbing out after the first time, having a quick drink and a snack for lunch and all filling in their tanks for this, maybe that's not gonna happen for a while. Anyway, I'm just having fun here, guys. But maybe I've answered some questions. Maybe I haven't. I've shown you a little bit of interesting stuff. So, yes, you can fill a scuba tank with a hand pump. And, yes, I think it's going to be a relatively safe, clean air. If you're not going too deep, uh, it should be okay. However, I don't think it's going to replace the dive store or a real scuba compressor. Certainly not for standard 80 cubic foot tanks. <laughs> Hey, a little bit of fun. Maybe my math is off. You check me if you would. I know you will. I get these calls all the time. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, kind of interesting. Can you fill your tank with a hand pump? Yeah. Wow. See you soon. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips.